Hello folks, this video is going to demonstrate how to use the SSD 1351 color OLED display with an ESP32. There's an image of the display. Standard object for the uh, display setup as defined by the library. Standard set of connections. Note that the master out slave in on pin 23 is fixed as is the, uh, the clock, the serial clock pin 23 and 18 where a chip select data command and reset can be varied to any other pins so you need to uh, be careful about your connections and I'll show a wiring diagram later there's a wider view of the software setup that is included in the library that's how to make the connections and I'll include a wiring diagram at the uh, at the github fairly straightforward to make those connections pin for pin against that diagram there. In terms of the installing the library uh, it's called the SSD 13XX it's Sumo Toy. I've clicked on the link there gone to GitHub and then I'm going to scroll down to the settings folder which is I'll go through in the details in a moment. Um, SSD 13XX settings uncomment out the line that is the default which is for the smaller display so add a comment in front of that and uncomment the uh, 1351 display line so download the library put it into your ID libraries folder Go to the libraries folder and open up the folder SSD13XX. Open the folder settings and then open the file SSD13XX underscore settings dot H. Use notepad so it's open with, right click open with. Edit the lines. So add a comment at the the default which would be included at the moment when you open it up and remove the comments from the SSD 1351 line and then save the file and exit then you can uh, go to examples and uh, there are quite a few example files you can load in and use those as the basis for your projects and I've already set one up and here's an example of a weather station running on the display for using an ESP32 and uh, so that's 128 by 128 pixel 1.5 inch square and um, it works exceptionally well very very bright and a very wide viewing angle enjoy <laughs> 